Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Maggie. Today we're going to be turning myself into Marilyn Monroe. Um, this is not going to be like the world's most amazing transformation you'll ever see. I was just curious. I've always wanted to try her makeup, so I thought I would give it a go. First, I started out by blocking out my eyelids and setting it with a shade that just matches my eye. And then I'm using the Bare Necessities palette from ColourPop for pretty much all of these. And I use a lot of like neutral tan colors, kind of taupey gray, to really carve out that crease. And you kind of do like a little bit of a winged out cat eye effect with the eyeshadow to give your eyes a little bit more of a lifted dreamy effect. I feel like this was like pretty much the iconic makeup for the 50s, really neutral eyes. They did do some fun colors here and there, but I really wanted to transform myself into like a 1950s housewife, but without all the sexism, you know? <laughs> um, but I feel like I did a pretty good job on the makeup. Uh, I do eventually, later in the video, do a pinup curl tutorial, but I don't even want to call it that. It's more me just struggling to get it done. Um, I've done pin curls before, but trying to do it in the way that the pattern is online of how you do your pin curls was really hard. And I honestly don't understand how women did this every single day. Obviously, they were doing it on wet hair, so when they would wake up, it would be dry, and I was using a curling iron and then setting the curls, but my lord, it was so freaking hard. Now we're going in with a white eyeliner from ColourPop in the shade Graceland and her makeup artist added like this white kind of like, I don't even know, I don't want to say it's like a cat eye, but just like shadow under her eye to help create that illusion of a bigger, wider set eye. And I really like the way it looked. And then he would take a the same color as he's like using in the crease and make a little line underneath that white line to kind of create the illusion that your lashes are really big and droopy so it's creating this shadow. I really liked the effect of it. It was really interesting. Definitely never done something like that before. It definitely ties in more once you get the winged eyeliner and the lashes on of course because right now it looks like a little crazy. Um, I'm going in with my black liquid liner from Rem Beauty. And this was kind of hard for me because I usually do really big, vampy eyeliner wings. But for Marilyn in the 50s, it was like more skinny and close to your lash line. It wasn't like these huge wings. It was like a tiny little baby wing. And I feel like I did it, so that was good. And this eyeliner is super good for doing that, so that was nice that it has such a precise tip. Um, I do have to go in and add that white again and some of the shadow just here and there throughout the whole video just because I kept losing it or I would cover it or something, you know. There's that. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some mascara. You can use whatever mascara. They actually used to use this like cake mascara. It was literally like a block of black stuff and a little comb and you would wet it and then brush it onto your eye lashes and it looked like tar but if it worked for them okay um and then i cut some lashes so they were kind of like half lashes because she had like a really dreamy sleepy eye effect and she would do that by you wearing like half lashes and really like out on the corners for her eyebrows they were like really peaky so they had like really sharp like points at the tip of the brow but I just kind of tried to match, match my natural shape. They definitely did fill their eyebrows in, kind of like how we're doing today, just like more full in there to really sh give them some shape. I couldn't read anywhere if they used like eyebrow gel, but I just went ahead and did anyways. I imagine that they probably did. Maybe it was just hairspray though. And then she used to use Vaseline on her face to give that soft dewy glow effect in photos and film But I'm not putting Vaseline on my face. You just can't make me So I'm gonna use the new elf halo filter glow liquid in the shade one and Just put it all over my face. So underneath my foundation. It really gives that radiant glow 
And this stuff is super glowy. I've been using this for a week, about every single day, and I'm obsessed. I love how it makes my foundation look after I put it on during the middle of the day and even at night I still look amazing. I'm going in with my Kosas Revealer foundation. I love this foundation because it never looks cakey. It just really enhances your skin and Marilyn wasn't like a super full glam, full coverage kind of girl. She really wanted her natural skin just to be super glowy and I feel like the combination of the liquid filter from e.l.f. and the foundation kind of gave that nice soft focus look. And I am taking my Revolution Makeup Eye Bright and Fair and just kind of, you know, adding some concealer, adding some brightness around my face, even around my jawline to help enhance that contour later to really brighten my face because she had such a cute, bright, like heart-shaped face. Going in with my Kosas Cloud Set and Feathery just to give that nice, soft, airbrushed look like she had and set all that makeup in but even with setting it that halo bow still pops through and i am going to contour i don't know if they contour with like bronzers and contour stuff i know they did wear blush though but she kind of looks like she had some contour going on and i really just wanted to help you know chisel out all of my features and the same with my nose i really wanted to try to give that appearance of like a little button nose like she had. I know she did have a nose job, but her nose looked beautiful before and after. Taking my blush from Laura Mercier and Cure Royale, it just reminds me of a vintage blush. Very pink, rosy, and I'm taking it along every single spot I contoured. So my blush, on my cheeks, on my nose. And to add that glow in again, she would put Vaseline, but I'm just going to put the liquid filter because it does the same effect without that greasy, gooey vibe. I'm really focusing it on the high points of my cheeks and on my temples to really enhance that glow. Um, I would typically, for this look, do a red lip liner, but I couldn't find one, so I just used a nudie pink one to really carve out my lips. She had a really nice enhanced upper lip, very heart shaped. So I just really enhanced my top lip mainly. My bottom lip was pretty perfect for that. And then we're gonna take the Rem Beauty Liquid Lipstick in Merrill because it's a nice dark blue based red. And we're gonna just outline and contour our lips with that before we go in with a brighter red of lipstick. I read that they used like five to eight different shades of red on her mouth to really contour her lips and make them look nice and full and juicy. I'm using a lip brush to really carve out that lip and if you do make any mistakes you could always go in with a little concealer on a brush and like fix that mistake or a little micellar water on a cotton swab and get it off but using the little brush really helps because if I would wet in just the doe foot on that I feel like I would have made a mess. Bringing the dark lip and the outer and then we're taking this ruffled feathers from Revlon. It's the Colorstay lip crayon and it's a very nice bright red and we're putting that in the center to really enhance that kind of like ombre effect and then I do go ahead and go back in with that little brush and just nice and blend it together, perfect those lines a little. And she, from the photos, definitely looked like she had a lot of gloss on. I decided to skip that step. I'm just not a huge glossy fan. And of course you can't skip the little moles. So I put the one where she had and then I just went ahead and covered the moles I already have on my face. I'm taking this like kind of champagne gold and hitting the inner corner and on my high points of my eyebrow just to add some more glow. And here's the pin curl part. So I'm taking my clipless curling iron and I'm holding that curl and then I'm taking a little duck bill and then I'm holding, clipping it up. And I basically just do this around my entire head. And boy was I sweating. It was so hot. I feel like it would be easier to do it the way they did it, which was like little foam rollers at night and then they would go to bed, but I already can't sleep well, so we're not gonna add a bunch of foam rollers to my head for that. So I just pinned them all up and let them set for a few hours and I did add some teasing spray. So it's kind of like a 
um, hairspray but adds more volume and helps if you're gonna tease it later here's me pulling it out and this kind of hurt honestly the things were all stuck in my hair at one moment I was starting to feel like I looked like Eddie Munson from Stranger Things which he rocked that hair but I do not so I clipped up my bangs because now it's the part where you really brush it out. Online I read that they used paddle brushes, again didn't have that so I just used a teasing brush and I really tried to brush it out and do like that little S shape like it said and finally here is where I felt like it looked like vintage hair. Um, if I would do this again, I, would, I have done pin curls before and I like doing the base of my hair, but I don't really like my bangs being curled like that. It's just too wild and crazy. It took me forever to get the bangs to kind of look kind of normal. But I hope you liked this video and don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below. Bye! That's right. Because if a girl's spending all of her time worrying about the money she doesn't have, how is she going to have any time for being in love? I want you to find happiness and stop having Baffles me. Mr. Esmond! Is it the right side?